herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Ausgabe von Blackwell Legacy. Wir haben hier jetzt uns aus unserer Wohnung herausgeekelt sozusagen, weil sie an die frische Luft hat müssen. Und wir den Artikel natürlich fertiggestellt haben bezüglich des Unfalls bzw. Selbstmordes noch von der Joanne. Und jetzt müssen wir zu Nishanti rein. Ein bisschen plaudern. Come in! Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Hey, boy. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right, Moti. See ya. You know I spoil you. Go get it. Okay, dann mache ich sonst nichts. Ja, dann quatschen wir aber mit der lieben Nishanti. Nish Nishanti. Ein bisschen small talk. So, um, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? <lacht> Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. That dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh, yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Das kenne ich von meinem Kater. Der hat auch so mehr oder weniger ein schwarzes Loch. Dann will er immer mehr und mehr und mehr. Aber es ist nicht satt zu kriegen. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo exactly, it's just... Oh, I know, just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly though once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. Hmm. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high pitched sound that the dogs can hear but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea. 
but I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Okay, we're going to go again. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Yeah, we're going to go again. 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 Ja, aber da ist nichts. Da habe ich den Hund nur. See ya. Bye. Alright, but this is the last one. Go get it. Da war aber keiner Hund. So, wir gehen mal raus in die frische Luft. Wir gehen aber zur... Ups, Tree, nope. Okay, da ist nichts. Ich dachte, wir können ins Park gehen. What is happening? It's gone. The pain, it's gone. That was strange. It was like, like. Hmm. What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... No, no, no! I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life... I just need a rest. That's all. Hmm. Hello, bright eyes. That's what you feel. It's good. Why do they always do that? Verständlich, oder? Dass man da irgendwie zusammenbricht, wenn plötzlich ein Geist in einer Wohnung so, rumsteht. So, Griff, long time no see. How's tricks? Right, thought as much. Blackwell dames, always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Yep, that's me, the eternal chump. Mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time, Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're going to listen. And you're going to listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it! You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... Who are you, and what the hell do you want with me? Huh, you don't waste any time. You're a Blackwell, all right. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the family spirit guide. What? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you.
Aber wir werden sie unsere geistige Gesundheit bedauern, weil, ja, ich schätze sie einfach so ein. Wir haben sie so geführt und jetzt... So I'm not going crazy? Nope. Ain't that grand. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. Took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? Hmm. Washington Square Park. Da hat's eigentlich gestartet, weil wir sind dann hingegangen und haben gesehen, dass der, der Hundepark leer war und gerade wie wir zum Brunnen hinten hingegangen sind, da hat es erste Mal die Kopf. You mean the dog run? Yeah, that's where we've got to go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. Mm -hmm. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Fine, we'll do it in the morning. No can do. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid, not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'd prefer going crazy. Sorry, sugar, you're totally sane. Deal with it. I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. <laughs> okay. After you. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Hmm. Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Ah, charmant, aber standhaft. Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. Leaving so soon? I thought we were getting along. They all run. So hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Shh. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run, run away. away. We won't run away. No. No, no we're, we're sick. sick. He poisoned, he poisoned us. us. Got, Got into, into our head, head and poisoned us. us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. no. I'm, I'm poisoned. poisoned. Stay, Stay away, away or, or I'll, I'll poison, poison you. you. Run. 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 Run away Stay like all the others. 
Ah, nein, wir werden uns dann schauen, wie du weiter spielen You're lassen. beautiful when you're angry. Has anyone told you? No. no. You won't you trap, trap me again. again. Again? He made everyone go away. There is nobody else. You're him. Who? Him. him. Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. Uh, what an odd dream. Good morning, Bright Eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? If it bothers you so much, you can always leave. I wish I could, dear. I told you, I couldn't leave even if I wanted to. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life? That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She... made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. So, I think we will have an unglaublich answer given. But so wirklich, tatsächlich, gut sind wir jetzt noch nicht oder akzeptieren es noch nicht so gut. There's more? Oh, yes. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh my god, where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place. Forcing its way into your mind. Um, can I ask the details? Because it's a bit overwhelmed or overwhelmed already self-ständig. Because what we've done brain-mäßig da reingeworfen hat, 
Aber eher uns eigentlich in unseren Kopf. So what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in your head. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I yeah. think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look all right. The, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. Was hat sich mit der Krawatte auf sich? Wo mir gerade die Krawatte überziehen haben müssen und nicht in seinen Hut oder Finger. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to... That place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. Hmm. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. That's convenient. Don't look so surprised, darling. This type of thing will happen more often than you think. The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? 
No, sorry. That's your job. Hmm. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. Good. Gut. Und damit kommen wir auch wieder zum Schluss für heute. Vielen Dank fürs Zusehen. Heute war sehr, sehr viel Zwischensequenzen, sehr viel gelabert und kennenlernen von unserem Geisterführer sozusagen, der die Familie wo immer auch ist, was tut. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Bleibt ein Kommentar rein, lasst ein Like da, Abo nicht vergessen und die Glocke für die nächsten Videos. Ich sage nochmals Dankeschön, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao! You received the ashes? Yes, I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. She was the only family I had.